Hello and welcome to another telehealth information video. My name is Garvin and today's video is about the oral emergency contraception or more commonly known as the morning after pill. So the morning after pill stops you from becoming pregnant after you've had unprotected sex or if a condom breaks during sex. Emergency contraception pills are taught to work by preventing or delaying the ovaries from releasing an egg, making it harder for sperm to enter the uterus by thickening cervical mucus as well as altering the womb's lining, making it harder for an egg to embed itself. <coughs> So while the morning after pill doesn't necessarily have to be taken the morning after unprotected sex, it's best to take it as soon as possible. Most emergency contraceptive pills can be taken up to three days after sexual intercourse. There is also another type of pill that can be taken up to five days after sexual intercourse. Emergency contraception can be gotten in pharmacies throughout Ireland as well as from a doctor at a family clinic or your general practitioner or your university or college health sexual clinic. So you should take the pill as soon as possible, preferably with some water. Because of the urgency, you can also ask your pharmacist for a glass of water if you want to take the pill straight away. So in the incident of the morning after pill not working and pregnancy occurs, it isn't known whether it could harm the developing baby. While it is most likely safe to drink alcohol when taking emergency contraceptive, drinking excess amounts of alcohol may cause you to vomit or experience diarrhea, potentially making the pill ineffective against pregnancy. So some of the main side effects of the morning after pill include headache, nausea, abdominal pain and vomiting. If you vomit, make sure to talk to your doctor or pharmacist as this may cause the pill to be ineffective against pregnancy. So if you've experienced abdominal pain, you should consult your doctor right away as it may indicate an atopic pregnancy. This is not a complete list of the possible side effects. You should talk with your doctor or pharmacist or read the enclosed information guide. So remember that all medicines have side effects, but this doesn't mean that you'll experience them. So that brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below or contact me through the website lynchespharmacy.com. And thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.